Hey there, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you about VA editor and uh, before we start uh, with the commands of VA editor you know, need to know the certain basics of VA editor. Okay, so let's start with that. Uh, what is VA editor? VA stands for visual. So it's a visual editor. W what is uh, visual editor? It's just similar to your text editor. Fine. For example, you have notepad in Windows and uh, uh, in Linux we have VI, VIM and so on uh, which are used to as which are used as a text editors now the difference is VA editor doesn't have any menu that means you don't see any icons there all you have to do is you, you have to use the keyboard you have to strike certain keys on the uh, keyboard so you can perform uh, commands and uh, you won't see any icons there okay so what's the use of VA editor you can uh, create a new file you can edit the existing file and also you can read uh, the contents which are present inside the file. So there are three uses, create a new file, edit the existing file and uh, read what's present inside the file. So before we jump into the discussion, uh, before we jump into the uh, topic that uh, how to do this, uh, one thing that you need to know is what are different modes of your uh, VA editor. Actually, VA editor works with two different modes. One is called command mode and another is called insert mode. Insert mode is basically when you are typing, of course, from the name it itself, it is very clear that what will be the insert mode. You, you are creating a new file, you want to add some text to it, that is your insert mode when you are actually adding your text and command mode is you are instructing your computer to perform some command for example you want to save it that's a command you want to cut some content and paste it somewhere that's a command or you want to perform search or replace or you want to even move your cursors all these are commands okay so uh, your VI editor works in two modes and uh, your uh, last thing before is VI editor always starts on command board and if you want to switch between the modes the keys are to enter into insert mode you will use the key I and to uh, enter into command mode you will press the key escape okay and one thing is VI editor commands are case sensitive if you are writing if you are adding capital I or if you are using some other uh, com uh, letters with the capitals on and off they mean different things okay so just take care of that thing that wherever small case, are, case letters are required you have to use the small case letters and vice versa okay so let's start with the uh, with the questions actual demonstration so open your terminal in VA editor and okay so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to create a file let's say file uh, that's the name of my file 456 that's my uh, just give any name to your file I'm going to call it file 5456 and press enter once you press enter you will get this message file 456 new file uh, as you can see uh, right now I have as I told you earlier that your uh, VI editor is going to start in command mode so first, uh, I have to do is to enter the key I on the keyboard once you press the key I on your keyboard you will see uh, insert here that means now you are in insert mode if you will type anything on your keyboard that will be taken as a insertion that means it will be inserted into your file so I'm just going to write anything here uh, this is a, a demo for VI editor you can type whatever you wanna type here and just enter any random text okay so I'm done with my typing okay now what I want to do I want to uh, save this file now saving itself is a, a command and uh, to go into command mode press the escape key on your keyboard once I, uh, since I have pressed the escape key now you can see there's nothing written here that means I'm in a command mode and uh, to save your file for example if you want to save and quit at the same time I'll use the capitals at twice and there are certain other commands we'll discuss this all this so first thing is I want to save my file so I'm going to go here and press in command mode press capitals are twice and you will see you are back to the terminal okay so second thing is let's say I want to open that file again as I told you the third use is first we are already done creating the file second was editing the file and the third one was reading the file I want to read and edit so I'll type the same file name file 
four, five, six, and press enter. Same command, and you can see my text is back. So I can read what's present inside the file. Second use is clear. Now the third one, edit the file. Now if I want to edit, uh, if now I'm back in VA editor, I want to perform certain insertion. I'll press the key I on the keyboard. Now I'm back in insert mode. You can type. And one thing is your mouse will not work here. If let's say I'm clicking here, I'm clicking here, I'm clicking there, but the position of the cursor is not changing. It is still at the first location. So you have to use the arrow keys present on your keyboard. Okay. Even if your arrow keys are not working, you can use the keys H J K L on your keyboard okay so we have certain keys you can use these keys on your keyboard to they are same as the arrow keys on your keyboard okay so let's back here move the cursor where you uh, want to insert I want to insert one more line uh, here is the new line that I have typed okay so I'm just adding any random text Okay, after that, now let's perform certain commands. Certain commands in the sense, let's say, I want to perform cut and paste. Okay, so first go to the command mode, press the escape key. Now in command mode, I want to cut the first line. The key is DD is used to cut a single line. Okay, and P is used to paste that line. So I'm going to cut the line in command mode. Take you, uh, let's say I want to cut the first line, so I'll take the cursor anywhere in the first line and press the key DD twice. Now you can see the line has been cut. You want to paste it, press the P key. Okay, so let's say you want to cut multiple lines. Let's say you want to cut two lines at a time. Then the key is, the command is, just mention the numeric along with the command so if you want to cut three lines you will type 3 dd if you want to cut two lines 2 dd if you want to cut 10 lines 10 dd and so on okay so let's say i want to cut two lines i'll type 2 dd and two lines are cut you want to paste it p okay so wherever your cursor is to the next line the content will be pasted okay let's say i want to cut this line okay after that uh, next is you uh, dd is to cut the current line if you let's say you want to cut word the command is dw w stands for word you want to delete the word so let's say i want to delete this word uh, typed and what i will do take your cursor to the uh, word where you want to what you want to cut and press the key dw see type has been cut you want to paste it let's say i want to paste it in the next line uh, and here so i'll press the key p and p has uh, typed has been pasted one important thing to notice here is see let's say if i say if my cursor is here on p fine so on y and if i press dw here see the word y p e has been cut from there let me repeat that see the cursor is on y I am performing the command D W and you can see only Y P E has been cut. So wherever your cursor is starting from the position of the cursor, the word will be cut. So take uh, that thing into your mind. Keep that thing into your mind and you want to paste it and just press the key P and you can see Y P E has been pasted next to the position where the cursor is okay so that is cut and paste and if yy is to copy similarly it works dd is for cut yy is for copy uh n yy will be uh, will be will use n yy to copy multiple lines at a time similarly dw was to cut and yw will be to copy let's perform it so i want to copy this line so i'll press let's say yy first line has been copied P for pasting if you want to cut let's say I want to copy uh, five lines so I'll type five y y you want to paste it P see five line has been pasted and the county will start from the line where your cursor is okay so if you type 5 dd here only three lines will be cut because the uh, I've started from my cursor there are just three lines after that okay now if you want to cut a uh, copy of word let's say this word so i'll press y w and where you want to paste it take your cursor there and i want to paste it here so p for pasting okay so 
and again in this case the uh, wherever your cursor is only that portion starting from that location the word will be copied if i copy my location of my cursor is at a so a v e will a v e will be copied if i type y w and paste it here uh P for pasting and you can see A V E has been copied not H A V E so keep the position of the cursor in your mind okay uh, next command is search so uh, let's say your document is very long and you want to search something command is in your command mode we are still in command mode press this backslash, uh, uh, backslash and you can see it will appear at the bottom of the screen and then type the word that you you are looking for let's say I'm looking for the word new NEW and press enter key see the cursor has been moved here you can see cursor is moved here and uh, I can see uh, if I want to move forward in the direction I'll press the key N now cursor is, has been moved from new, this to this if I press N again it has been moved to this if I press N again it says that search hits the bottom continue to the top now what's the meaning of this type your word small n is going to search in the forward direction and capital n is going to search in the backward direction now uh, since i have the bottom of the screen I, and if i want to uh, okay i'm uh, back at the top if i want to make perform the search i'll press small n and if you want to go backward cap press capital n okay you can see it capital n is going if i'm pressing capital n it's going backward all right and if I press small n, it's going forward. Replace. The next command is replace. Replace is just going to replace uh, characters under the cursor. And uh, to go into escape mode, press capital R on your keyboard. Once you press capital R, you can see replaces here. Now you take your cursor, what you want to replace. Let's say I want to replace this have by um, any thing okay so it's just now whatever i'm typing that is performing replacement i'm not inserting anything new i'm just replacing what's already there fine so this is your replace mode and if you want to replace just a single character at a time in that case uh, press the escape key twice now you're back in escape mode press r key on your keyboard that is going to replace just single or one character now take your cursor where you want to replace it and what you want to replace it let's say i want to replace i r by u as you can see now i has been replaced by u okay after that uh, the next one is you can also you can do undo redo and uh, of course we have already done dd dd was used to cut and paste and you can also use it just don't paste it that means it's a single deletion okay so u is undo let's say uh, i was here if you want to undo whatever you want to uh, what you have done just press keep pressing the u that u is for undo and if you want to perform redo it's control plus r r is going to redo you can see that okay so this these are your commands control r is for redo u for undo x is going to delete a single character at a time but one thing that you have to keep always keep in mind the mode in which you are working if you want to go back to the insert mode press the keep uh, i key on your keyboard and you can see i will start typing that text is being entered into the uh, into the file and if i want to go to command mode i'll press the escape key so if i type anything here that will be taken as a command okay so let's uh quickly uh last thing i we haven't done this thing okay we use capital z to save and quit uh, you can also use while it's not capital Z is going to save and get back to the terminal and what if you want to save your file but you don't want to quit uh, at the moment okay like just save your file uh, on on a regular interval so that if there is any error or if there is any crash your data is still saved for that you will use the key colon w and if you want to quit you will use q and if you want to save and quit both of the things that is equivalent to capital z twice you will use colon q and if you want to force quit that means you are not concerned about whether your data is saved or not you just want to quit anyhow that is q and exclamation sign so let's perform this colon w is going to save my file you can see this has been written and if you want to quit colon Q and press enter I'm back to the terminal so uh, I'm, I'm going back to the VI editor 
and uh, if you want to save and quit w key i have saved it and i have quit uh, quit i have done quit from the terminal okay one so let's quickly revise what we have done in VA editor so <coughs> VI editor has two modes one is insert mode and other is command mode in insert mode you enter your text in command mode you perform commands okay so to enter into insert mode you have the key i and to enter into command mode you have the key escape key and if you are not sure about in which com uh, in which mode you are right now you can always press the escape key twice and in whichever mode you are you will be back to the command mode all right after that to creating the file you know always it's vi and one thing is vi is case sensitive we are writing let me show you if i type uh, capital VI here, capital VI space, let's say file 345 and press enter VI command not found. So you have to take care, it, uh, the commands are case sensitive. Okay, so next is uh, that I told you you can use uh, your mouse will not work, you have to use the arrow keys on the keyboard, and even if the arrow keys are not working, you can use the keys J, K, L and H keys on your keyboard. Next is how you can save your file capital Z twice or column W and column Q. Copy cut is DD. DD is going to cut word, oh sorry, line and W is uh, W stands for word and DW is going to cut words and uh, you can also mention the number of words and then mention the number of lines you want to cut and P is for pasting and uh, D is for cut and Y is for copy yy is going to copy yw is going to copy the word and p is again going to paste it and for the search you will use the backward slash and you can move your search in forward direction or in the backward direction for replacement if you want to replace single character you will use small r if you want to replace multiple character you will use capital r and the last one is if you want to perform undo you will use u and if you want to perform dedo you will use control plus r and you want to delete the character it is x and uh, if you want to just perform deletion without pasting uh, it's dd all right so this was your va editor and i hope this is clear to you and uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day and uh, just be happy and enjoy your life bye